Hey everybody, welcome to the Baltimore and Ohio Southeastern Model Railroad in N scale. Grab a cup of coffee and a donut or three, and let's run some trains and do some switching. Well, good morning everybody. Today we're going to show the N and W interchange run to get y'all out the yard. The Alco C420 High Hood, the uh, NW owned 10 of them. Did weather it up a little bit, may weather it a little bit more. I might just heard Ferdinand come up, narrowing this Thursday evening at sunset. Locomotive looks and sounds great. Benjamin did a great job on it. That little uh, stutter there, actually the locomotive got hung up on the grade crossing on Watt Street. It's the only locomotive that, done, that has done that so far, so I had to work on it. Um, should be okay now. But you know, the uh, kit that I got for the grade crossings is meant for code 80 track, and I've run code 55, so I think it was sticking up just a little bit too high. So we're on the passing track. So the first thing we're going to do is drop the train. If I had a longer lead before I ran into the wall, um, I would probably just have dropped the caboose there and uh, pulled the five cars with me, but I don't have enough space for 10 cars and the locomotive from the uh, switch lead. So we're pulling the five cars from track two. There's two at the end there that don't go. This thing never stuttered, never hiccuped, ran great. I'm gonna dry brush the truck frames a little bit <coughs> and the fuel tank and that probably about the extent of the weathering.
So we're going to put these cars on the main line. The Norfolk Southern train. Might be the local returning from Lexington though, because he didn't do much of a horn there, so it might be the only thing we hear. Now we're going to pick up the cars that we brought with us and put them in the place of the cars we just picked up. Now the real interchange, NW interchange with the b &O in two places in Chalkathy. Uh, south of town by the old paper plant was where the CH and D tracks came through. Uh, that diamond is still there. CSX and Norfolk Southern serve the paper plant. There's a little interchange yard there. And the other interchange track curved around the back of the roundhouse. And that track is also still there now, but it's how Norfolk Southern accesses the grain elevator in town because uh, CSX had to allow them to do that as a condition when they abandoned the line. The grain elevator um, protested the abandonment. I don't have ways to model either one of those, so that's why you saw the train coming through Douglas Avenue. That's really, I just wanted to give it more runtime. <laughs> For, for the interchange for the for the Alco. The switch crew is probably going to have to get the NW2 out and move that uh, gone. I don't think they're quite clear of the rest of the yard ladder. So now we're going to retrieve the caboose. So we'll pull that back, run through the crossover, and tack it on what is now the end of the front.
both in N scale and in G scale, I really want to model the N and W version of the uh, center cupola caboose. I don't know if it's actually center cupola, it might be offset just a little. It's uh, very distinctive and nobody makes a model of them in plastic. Uh, the locomotive is going to pull back up on the other crossover, make it back onto the train, and head back to home tracks. At the end of this, I'll have a short video about Jazzy and talk about her. Really like this shot here with the train slowly starting out of the yard and going around the curve. All right, we'll catch the uh, train going past General Chemical. Again, this never would have happened. <laughs> this is uh, this track is still there, but it's CSX track. Interchange would have been back around the roundhouse. And when this is over, we'll switch to the video about Jazzy. And I'll talk about her. All right, I showed you last weekend how we got Jazzy a squeaky toy, but she really didn't play with it much. She's feeling a lot better. This is the Jazzy we're used to. She loves her squeaky toys, shaking them around. That's why we got her the big chicken, because she can shake it around. And sometimes she'll toss it in the air and catch it. 
she just loves it. So this, this is a very, very, very good sign. And the vet is pleased with their progress. All right, so I hope everybody has a great Saturday. I'm going to let Ferdinand out of the railroad garden. we probably relieved himself. And uh, stay safe.